I'm sure there's something about professionalism that's killed a certain part of me. Yeah, what's your fascination with America? Mine? Yes, yeah, song, song for America, Base of Pig. Bay of Pigs. Oh, Bay of Pigs, right. Bay of Pigs well, that would be my fascination with Cuba, but... But it's... American invasion. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm fascinated by America, but... I'm, I'm half American, and I live close to America, and... It's just like a shadow that exists over me, like maybe a lot of people. It's like uh, a culture that, you know, it's, I think it's really normal to like love and hate at the same time elements of America. And so once in, a while, once in a while the world, the word pops up and people have a really instantaneous reaction to the word America, so it makes it... It's very tempting to stick it in a song, you know what I mean? And who's, and who's Jessica? <laughs> Jessica's the, a, a girl's name, oh, it's but I don't, know, I don't know who she is. Okay, I, I wrote a song for America that told me it was clever. clever. Jessica's gone on vacation on the dark side of town forever. Who knew right, who yeah. I mean, um, yeah, there's Jessica, and there's like uh, Christine White, and um, there's probably some other girl's name that pops up. And they're probably just names that sound sonorous to me, you know, like names that work well in a, mo in a melodic way. And I, like a lot of songwriters, I like to use names in songs because it creates the illusion of a song being grounded in reality and in time and in space. And it's also true that I tend to use women's names more than men's names. Because of you being a man, maybe? Maybe. Maybe because I like the idea of um, destroyer songs having a romantic backdrop, even if it has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Um, and women's names are generally prettier than men's names also, so it's easier to sing. Okay, next question, personal level. Um, your surname, where does it come from? Bejar. Bejar, yes. It's Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, my father was Spanish. It was Spanish, he passed. Yeah, yeah. Um, in 2000, when uh, Destroyer, phase one, Let's say broke up, you went on a vacation to Spain. Was yeah, it? yeah, I went to Madrid. I lived there for a few months in Madrid. I wrote the songs that ended up being on the, on the first record that Merge Records did. It was called This Night. And then I went back to live there for about seven months. Uh, in the fall of 2006, in a city called Malaga, in the south. And I wrote a bunch of songs that ended up being on the record Trouble and Dreams. So what do you have in Spain still? What do I have there? Yeah, yeah, what, 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 what What's there that attracts me? Yeah. Do you, do you feel Spanish? Yeah, in some ways, yeah. I have a lot of family there that I'm close with. Um, so it, in some ways, it feels more at home to me. More at home than being at Well, I don't have any family. I mean, I have, my, I have some very close family in Canada, but my extended family is all in uh, Spain or in, or in America. Do you feel more Spanish than Canadian? Canada is an ambiguous place. I don't really know what it is to feel Canadian. Um, I feel at home in Spain, if that's what you're asking. I can go there and feel quite comfortable. And when I, when I leave, I miss it. And I want to go back. And do you have the same feeling with Canada? I 
have, you know, I have my life there, and so I have friends. Um, I have family, and things like that. But I think this answers the question. Yeah, it's different. As a country, I don't, uh, I don't think about it in the same way. But say if you have, if if, if you what happen to have this family or those friends, maybe let's say in Amsterdam. It yeah. Would be the same. Yeah, probably. So Spain is more your home. It occupies like a. It occupies like a part of my heart more than maybe uh, maybe Vancouver does. Well, I could be wrong. I could I could go away from Vancouver, test it out, and see if I miss the Rocky Mountains and the Pacific Ocean, and the beautiful green trees. But. So far, that hasn't happened. Thank you for your time. Yeah.